The Lenok, like its nearest, the relation, the salmon, migrates in different seasons. When ice starts drifting, fish rush to the river heads for spawning, which starts in the beginning of May. In the end of August, the Lenok swims to their winter stays from small mountain rivers to large rivers on these places of the river's lower reaches where there are deep holes. In Pribaikalia, the peak of the Lenok migration is when leaves fall. That is the best time for catching the Lenok. From this period of time until freezing, the Lenok is actively feeding. This is the proper time to catch it, as well on shallows and on deep reaches. For lightning bite, this strong and beautiful fish is called the river leopard. The Lenok resembles a young Thai man. It has an elongated body covered with small scales. Its coloration is rather diverse and depends on habitats. Catching the Lenok is for inquisitive, energetic and persistent persons crazy about fishing. This fish attaches to itself forever or leaves you cold. Other fishermen from Pribaikalia do not spare either strength or resources and reach the most difficult places to traverse looking for the new Lenox habitats. Autumn fishing in the mountain rivers of the Baikal region. The second film. Catching the Lenok on the Turok Cha. For the whole day, we have been getting all the Turok Cha upstream from the inner settlement getting over its rapid tributaries by an off-road express. Crossing the largest right tributary of the Turokcha, Bogunda, was the most difficult thing to do. Vladimir is driving the car across the river by the old proved method, obliquely and down the stream to the opposite bank along the safe shallow section. The source of the Turoksha is on the western slope of the Ikotsky mountain ridge, five kilometers from this place. The floating section on the river begins 20 kilometers from the source. To reach it by an off-road express is possible only while the low water level along the old road that was built by geologists 30 years ago. Recently, the road has been overgrown with the Manchurian alder and birch. With difficulty, the car is entering serpentine turns. The rise is rather steep, even to an off-road express. The engine is quickly overheated. We stopped to clean the radiator from leaves and after an hour we rose on the plateau-like summit of the ridge. About 20 years ago in this place there was a heavy fire that destroyed the whole vegetation. We go down to the riverbed along a narrow ravine by hardly visible animals path. There are lots of wind-fallen trees in the forest. Almost every year, the Stepansov brothers come to catch fish in this place. But to reach the riverhead is getting more difficult. Lumber industry doesn't work, there is no care for the roads. Many years have passed and it is difficult to go with a heavy knapsack. We made a camping on the bank of the river.
Twisting rivers in the mountains of Prevaikalia are the Lenap habitats. The width of the rivers seldom exceeds 40 meters. The rivers teem with shallows, holes, deep reaches. The rivers are very beautiful, especially in their upstreams. A little bit higher upstream, there is a small reach. From this point, we decided to start fishing the Lenok. By hardly visible signs, even before coming to this place, the fishermen had already known that here there is a lot of fish. That is why, with certainty, they started fishing from the central part of the ridge. Got quickly used to a new spinning, Mikhail caught the first Lenok. <laughs> Foreign fishing tackles didn't go bad. That was fortunate to take spoon baits of MAPS production. The Lenok catches it in the beginning and in the very end when the bite completely comes out of the water. Banks of the mountain rivers, overgrown with dock rose bushes, mature and older, undergrowth of coniferous and leafy species, make our way very difficult. That is why local fishermen float by inflatable boats or rafts, having stops on the places with the riches and holes which please them. The beauty of Pribaikal rivers in autumn will remain in memory for a long time. In every season they strike by peculiar combination of colors of the mountain forests, mountain wastes, rocks and gaps. And delicious fish soup from the just caught Lenok or Taimen, cooked on the open fire, will appear as a dream for you at home many times. Water, salt, onion, potato and fish Nothing special, but no one is able to cook real rich fish soup. The secret of the way of its cooking is hidden in the unique experience gained by a fisherman for many years of wandering in the taiga. But on the mountains rivers, you will remember drawing out a big goldish linok most of all and not fish soup and ringing bars where the river stream runs in sprays and foam. This beauty is a kilo and a half weight. Она бугает, лежит на солнышке. Солит, я распростал. Что же будет? А вот, простать-то кто будет? Такого о, о, хорошего леночка. А. Generally after a hook, the lenok appears several times from the water, several times turn around abruptly, trying to get free from the fish hook. As a rule, the river leopard stands against till the end. In the Turokcha, the distance between deep reaches or holes is no more than two kilometers. Before each river curve, 
there are rocky shallows with the rapid stream. Fishermen start to catch fish from the new reach on the point of the stream and calm water border. The Lenok of a medium and big size prefers to feed in such places, picking up insects brought by the stream. The diet of the freshwater salmon is very diverse and helps to use different spoon baits. According to spinning bites, all fishermen have agreed that they should be catchable. As for the rest, there are different points of view. Somebody got used to catch fish using handmade bites, other people use different bites. Some prefer to fish at nights, the other in the daytime, the third chose dawns and evening glows. According to the experience of fishermen from Pribaikalia, a light no more than 2 meter telescopic spinning with a test of 20 to 30 grams is the most proper spoon bite for fishing in small mountain rivers. It's not difficult to go along the bank and cast the fishing rod even through the clear space among trees with such a fishing tackle. In autumn, when the water is clear and the sun shines, the Lenok bites the dark, dull spoon bite with yellow-orange spots in goldish edges. The Lenok grows up slowly. This fish, that is almost 2 kg weight, is about 7 or 8 years old. Because there is a big deal of the Lenok in the Turok Cha, it is rare to catch its nearest competitor, the Thai man. Being 5 cm in length, the Lenox starts to eat caviar and small young fish of other species. Growing, it starts to eat up the young Thai men, especially in the places of their spawning grounds. There haven't been big Thai men in the Turok Cha for 20 years. In autumn, the Lenok migrates from the river heads and accumulates in the feeding holes where it can stay for a long time. To such places, fish goes alone and in small shoals. Big Lenoks are the last to swim to their winter stays in pairs. <laughs> Lots of fish accumulated in this reach. Young tenants, lenox of different sizes, and omnipresent graylings fed in the head of this reach. It is rarity, doesn't like to move once again and prefers to feed immovable. The Lenok feeds in any time, but especially early in the morning and before the sunset. Unlike the Thai man and grayling, the Lenok's diet is more diverse. In autumn they feed with invertebrates, freshwater shrimps, small mollusks and other insects.
Big fish hunt for mice, frogs, and quite often for the grayling. Tonight, the fishing became more interesting. The Lenok, sometimes big grayling, seized each bite. No fish came off the fish hook, but some fish were caught. Till the darkness fell, we treated all caught fish and cooked it for dinner. The next stop we made on the shallow ridge a kilometer down the stream. There was a little fish there. During the autumn migration, the Lenok doesn't stay in every hole. Sometimes you have to wait a new group of swimming fish for the whole day. Moving fish in autumn resembles autumn transmigrations when birds, after having a rest, rise into the sky and fade into the blue distance. Looking for other riches, we go further downstream. On the new place, with agitation, you throw the bite into the stream, and every moment you wait for the biting. Vladimir has the second successful bite. This time he caught one kilogram weight beauty with a dark gray back. Lenox with such coloration inhabit rapid shallows and sources of streams. 
In the Turok Cha and other rivers in Pribaikalia, the length of the sexually mature Lenok migration is averagely from 20 to 50 kilometers. The Lenok swims to the riverhead and also to the tributaries of the second and third order. It can be met in the highland glacial lakes on the Ikatsuki mountain ridge. Young Lenox do not swim far from the place of their birth and they are light grey colored. The Lenok inhabiting deep river reaches and the Taiga lakes is bigger, has an almost black back and white belly. There are bright spots on the reddish sides. Scales are covered as if with gold. The Stepansov brothers call them Chechens. They can be up to 4 kilograms weight. The forest is twinkling with autumn gold colors under the September sun. The Turokcha winds as a blue belt among the Ikatsuki mountains. Lots of mysteries are preserved in this river. Not so long ago, the events nomadized in this part of the world. In the beginning of the last century, their small families died out because of smallpox, and the rest ruined themselves by drinking. For a short period of time, hot drinks poisoned almost the whole Aboriginal population in the Barguzin Taiga. Sometimes laryngeal songs of the Taiga people on the bank of the Turokcha River break the silence of the Ikatsuki mountains. They are heard only in calm September nights at the places where Ivang shamans are buried. One of the last Baikal Evangs of the Shemagirska family said to me, more and more you change the world and make it unrecognizable. It is becoming the other. You fail to comprehend it. You fail to feel it. You fail to love it. In the end, all your endless trouble is rooted in this alienation from the nature. The heroes of the film are sure that fishing is one of the few preserved threads that link us with the nature. And due to fishing, a man remembers that he himself is a part of the nature. These places always attract the Stepansov brothers and they are sure that undeliberate reminiscence makes our hearts beat more often when in the fishing line, tight as an arrow, a hand feels the weight of a fish. Let's 
сюда дыхаю. The time while fishing goes fast. The night was fallen in the ravine, but the day was filled with the sunlight. The master of the two rock cha is parting with summer warmth unwillingly. Some years ago, here there was a famous horseway that linked the Barguzin Valley with Bound, Tsipikan and Karalon. Mikhail, who worked as a prospector on Bound gold fields, often went along it looking for the better life. In his 60 years, he is still ready to go for adventure. The day passed successfully. In their hearts, the fishermen thank the master of these places and treating the fish are making plans for the next day. The night was calm. This morning we started fishing before the sunset. In the twilight the Lenok has bad eyesight and takes a bite almost near the very feet. Vladimir was right. Some fish swam into the hollow during the night. In September the sun is still hot. Today the sky is cloudless and so we started to clean and salt the fish caught in the morning earlier than usual. Local fishermen have no respect for sport fishing with its principle catch and set it free. They fish only to provide their families. According to their point of view, to catch, cripple and then set a fish free is cruel.
On hot days, they add more salt while conservation. Before coming home, fish is stored in special sacks placed into the cold river water at night. The forests are near the water in the middle course of the Turok Cha. As if by hypnosis, they attract by their unexplored paths aroma of resin and dried herbs. Shrouded with transparent blueness, the taiga is stiffened in calm somnolence. Soon, feathery predators will fly into warm countries, local fishermen will take on fur clothes and go to look for lenox in the dark frostbound holes of the Turok Cha. Every ending has its beginning. Knowing that spring will come, the nature is not sad. Just right now it is making preparations for its numerous descendants. распусков туда его, а вот тут лазов поставь. Ты не отвоз? In the North Pribaikalia, there is no difference between summer and autumn fishing. The same, washed away roads, rivers and fishing tackles. But to catch the river leopard in summer is more difficult, because the Lenok is more cautious at that time. During a daytime, Lenox hides among reefs and other hidden places and goes out to feed mainly at nights and on the dawn. Besides, fish disperse in numerous tributaries with cold spring water and move near to shallows. That is why there is little Lenox in deep reaches and holes. Sometimes it is difficult to choose a bite for summer fishing. You have to watch for insects, which Lenox eat at this time, and then choose materials for artificial bites with a great care. The number of bites is diverse and runs up to 200. Each bite has its own peculiarity.
To catch big Lenox in the Turok Cha in summer is more difficult because they are the first to migrate into inaccessible tributaries and to the riverhead. The world surrounding the Barguzin fishermen is strikingly beautiful. They fell in love with pure rivers, sky, mountains and the taiga. Vladimir says that without feeling love to your small motherland, a person will not be really happy. There were many big and small travelings in the life of the Stepansov brothers. For many times, the life in the mountains tested their strengths. The taiga united them by hearts and not by blood relationship. They have their own point of view to common things and they believe that some people will come to their places not to destroy everything they love, but to create. Кажется, будто давно... 